Okay, so in this video, I'm about to tell you how to do this, man. Um, and I, I, I really, I really was debating on whether or not to tell y'all this secret because I don't think a lot of people are ready for the truth. Okay, and um, if y'all know, if y'all don't know me, man, I'm big bro. I'm trans genius. You know what I'm saying? Just like my hat say. Um, once upon a time, I was broke. I remember laying in my my bed at uh, my cousin house. I had on some jeans, no shirt. And I was just reading spiritual books, just trying to figure out, like, God, why am I not living my best life ever? Like, that's what I was literally thinking, like, because I knew I deserved to be here, but I was, like, actually here. I didn't have no job. I didn't have no money. I didn't even know how to even earn money. I didn't even know what, I didn't even know nothing about what, I'm, what I know today and what I'm about to tell y'all in this video, okay? So stay tuned through this whole entire video, man. I'm about to tell y'all how I manifested a place that I stay right now. You ain't even walked around and nothing. I'm not going to show you that. I don't need to. Where I stay at right now is a, I pay $5,000 per month for rent in my new apartment. Okay. Five racks every month. Now I know some of y'all probably be like, Oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. You shouldn't do that. Trend. That's spending money. You spending your money. You spending your money. I was even at the bank that I went to the bank today and I was talking to my accountant and she was like, Oh my God. You paid that much. Now, this is a bank accountant woman. You feel me? And she's probably watching this video uh, right now. Shouts out, Caroline. Anyway, um, but now, nah, real talk. I'm about to tell you how, I did, how I'm doing this and how, how I done it. You feel me? Because like I said, folks, one thing you got to understand about when it comes to making a lot of money and having the best of the best shit is you got to be able to pay to play. All right? You got to pay to play. And that means if you want to have the best quality things, you want to live the best life, you want to enjoy yourself, it costs money, folks, whether people want to say it does or don't. H having the best, finer things in life costs money. And so I'm about to tell you in this video, man, how I manifested in this place and how I just keep making more and more, money, more and more money. I can't even talk right. That's how much money I keep making. Okay, listen. Uh, and for those who don't know, you know, you see me nowadays, like I said, if you go back in my old videos, 2014, 2015, you will see I was going through the struggle. You feel me? Like I didn't have diamond rings and stuff like that nowadays. You know, I didn't have little mini endorsements. I didn't have, a, I didn't have on a hat with my name on it with YouTube on the side. I didn't have on designer stuff like, you know what I mean? Like Acne Studios. I didn't have one-on-one -on -one shoes, off-whites and none of that. I didn't have none of that. But I'm going to tell you how I did it. And I am and I want you to follow in my footsteps, man, because what I'm about to tell you is some real shit, man. Listen, it's your big brother, Trent G. Say it with me one more time, man. Listen, listen, y'all, listen. So the average person, if you told them that you pay $5,000 for rent where you stay at, they will think that you are crazy, literally. They will think you're crazy. They will tell you and call you all kind of names. They'll tell you how you're wasting the money. They'll say, oh, you can put that in a house and you can do this and you can do that. And you know what I would do if I had that much money and you ain't going to never be able to get it back. People will tell you all kind of shit like that if you told them that you pay X amount of dollars for this car or that house or this apartment or condo or whatever or Airbnb. They'll say, oh, my God, yeah, 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 yeah. And usually, folks, one thing you got to understand about the laws of attraction and how to manifest things, usually people that say that do not know about the law of attraction. I know about the law of attraction. I know I've seen it time and time and time again. The manifestation is really real. And this is why I'm here today, because I've seen it work. I've practiced it. I've seen it work over and over and over again, folks. Over and over again, folks. And I cannot make this shit up. I'm literally standing here. All right. And so one thing that you got to do first and foremost that you got to do if you want to be able to have more money and live a much more happier life, you got to get out of the broke mindset, folks. Most people that told me why I'm paying five thousand a month for this place, they got a broke mindset, a broke mindset, a broke mindset. That meaning they think with, with limitations. They don't think that they can ever have something that costs a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like when you say a high price to them, they immediately get scared and start telling you why you can't afford it type of people. You feel me? And they don't know nothing about how to manifest without being able to see things. You know what I mean? They don't know how faith works. Faith is something that you cannot see. And then you get it because you believe that you can have it. 
You know what I mean? Before I used to, before I even stay where I'm staying at now, I used to always come out here. I stay in Scottsdale, Arizona, by the way. I used to always come out here, uh, fly out here and stuff and just see places that I wanted to stay. And every time I would come past this place where I stay at now, I would always look and say, bro, I'm going to stay there one day. I don't know what the hell I got to do to get up in there. I know that shit costs a lot of money. But to me, it ain't gonna cost a lot of money because one day I'm gonna stay there, bro. Like I, I used, I used to ride in a lift and I used to see my my apartment uh, places that I want that I wanted to stay. And I used to see this place. And I used to say, bro, I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna stay there. And then you know the lift driver uh, that I was in the car with that day when I was talking about you know like what is this? Is this an office? Is it an office? Like I'm gonna stay. The lift driver was like, nah, man, that's an actual. Uh, <laughs> that's where residents stay. This is where people stay. At. And I'm like. Man, pull over, man. I'm about to go in there and see what's up. So, listen. Now, mind you, at the time, I could not afford it. I could not afford to stay where I stay at now. But I still walked on faith. So, I still went to the rent and leasing office or whatever. And I still got me a brochure for this place. And I still talked to the people in the, the, the uh, at the leasing office. And I still was walking in that place like I could afford to stay here. They didn't know me from a can of paint. All right. They didn't know who I was. They didn't know how much money I made. They didn't even know I had bad credit. You feel me? But it's just the way I walked in there. They treated me like I was already a resident. So I had already completed a uh, step number one. And that's by walking on faith. OK. And, and just being there and just getting the information or whatever. Just getting the information and just taking a brochure home. That's step number one to having your dream car or having your dream home. That's step number one. You know how many people can't even do that? Because they're so scared. Oh my God, I know I can't afford it. I can't get it. I don't got that money, man. Uh, my credit looking funny. My money tight. Uh, my job don't like... You know what I mean? People can't even get past that level. I did. And you're going to get past it too if you listen to what I'm saying in this video. I took that brochure back home. I looked up, looked at all the pictures and I just... Oh man, I just melted. I just melted in the pictures and just having the brochure. And I still... because and. Not only did I see myself there already before I got the brochure, that just made it worse. Cause now it's like, I see what the inside of this place look like. I see all of the amenities that you come with. Jacuzzis, pools, tennis courts, basketball courts, hot tubs, spas, pool tables, sauna rooms, walking tracks. I seen all the amenities. I'm like, damn, this place got a lot of amenities. You feel me? And so I'm like, no one of it. See, see, and that's the thing you got to understand. That's why I say you got to pay to play, folks. People don't understand that concept of what it means to spend or circulate what I call it now. I don't even say spend them. People don't understand what it means to circulate a lot of money on something that you really want and what's going to come with it. You know what I mean? They just only thinking about the big, the big amount that they're going to have to give up because they think that they're never going to make that type of money back again. See, once again, folks, it's a poverty mindset. It's the reason why people always around you broke is because they have a poverty mindset. They're afraid to give up a large amount of money because they, uh, they don't know the universe will always give it back to them. Now, fast forward, because I'm not going to hold you for long. Fast forward. All right. Now, since I stay here. Because I manifested. I don't got good credit. Right now, I don't. Right now, my credit is getting better and better by the day, by the way. Oh, it's getting better and better by the Trend does homework. Trend is not dumb. He is very smart. And he reads. And he gets information and research off the internet. Credit repair everything. Like, I really be out here studying for real. You feel me? Huh? But the only reason why I even thought to get my credit right and the focus on getting my credit right is because I'm here. It's people walking around here to play basketball, play football. You got content creators around here. You got political people around here, athletes, people driving in Lamborghinis. It ain't no car. It ain't no. Ooh, where you came on? It ain't no car downstairs in the parking garage that ain't worth more than fifty thousand dollars. Period. Every car downstairs. I was. I would take it up to seventy thousand. Every car downstairs in my parking garage where I stay at, it's Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, Porsches, G wagons, uh, 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 Tesla, a million Teslas, Teslas everywhere. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, 2022 cars they ain't even out yet. Downstairs, down, where I stay at, downstairs, you can hear down Lamborghinis in the middle of the night revving up all the way downstairs in the parking lot. Vroom, vroom, vroom. 
And then you hearing all this shit, you seeing all the people that you with, you staying around, you, the area that you stay in or whatever. That, all this shit ain't going to do nothing but make you want to do better, folks. It ain't going to do nothing but inspire you to want to get your credit right. <laughs> it ain't going to do nothing but inspire you to want to be more disciplined. It ain't going to do nothing but inspire you to want to make more money. Folks, when you when you go get what you want and you just you just circulate that money and just get it, once you get it, it's going to give you more fuel and more energy to want to have even more. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's why it's very important for you to take yourself away from people who got a broke, limited mindset. Because the more you stay around them, they're gonna go, they're gonna rub off on you that brokenness. They're gonna have a discount. They're gonna give you a discount mindset. You know what I mean? Like a pennies mindset. You feel me? And the longer you stay around people that don't got nothing, the longer you stay around people who are comfortable with just having, you know, uh, uh just making uh ten thousand dollars a year. You know, they just happy with that. That's that's. They happy with that. The more you stay around them, you're never going to elevate. You feel what I'm saying? The reason why I moved here and I can't pay $5,000 a month for this place is because I see, I thought about it in a money manifestation mindset. I said to myself, if when I move here, it's only going to inspire me, Trey. It's only going to inspire you to want even more. Don't you want a big house? Don't you want a mansion? I'm like, yeah, I want a mansion. Well, go ahead because you're going to have to live up to that $5,000 a month. Uh, payment that you're going to have to make and that's going to make you be more disciplined with your money trend because you know you want to stay here. You know you don't want to let this uh, these amenities go. You know you don't want to stop seeing all these pretty girls walking around here that probably make over $100,000. You know you're going to want that, right? Aren't you looking for a wife trend? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So now when you put yourself when you, like I said, folks, when you put yourself in a situation to where you have to pay something that's a lot of money it's only going to encourage you to go higher. You feel what I'm saying? So I stayed here for a lot of other different reasons. I didn't stay here to be fancy. I didn't stay here to act like I was famous. I didn't stay here to brag about it and make a video and then try to make y'all feel bad or that. I'm not staying here for bragging rights. Like, oh my God, I, I stay, I'm in Scott, I'm in Scott, no, I stay here for what comes with this place. You understand? I stay in Arizona. It's beautiful out here. The sun's always shining. Palm trees, cactuses everywhere, nice, beautiful grass, deserts, waterfalls, nice canyons everywhere. Every day is sunny. You can literally see the stars in the sky because there's not air pollution everywhere. I stay here for a lot of other reasons other than just being fancy, folks, and brag. Okay? But see, like I said, most people don't see it like that. They just say, why are you spending all that money? You see what they said? Why are you spending all of that money? To them, that's a lot of money. To most people, 5000 Shit, I would say to most people, two thousand dollars on a, a, for rent for an apartment is too much money for them. That, you see how limited their mindset is. Now, a millionaire, if you want to be a millionaire, a billionaire, a trader, you don't think like that. You don't say, "Oh my God, that is so high. Why are you paying thirteen hundred for that?" That's a broke mindset. You basically saying, "I don't, I, I don't want to." I want to be a millionaire, but I, I don't want nobody to tell me that they pay $1,200 for an apartment. You're never going to be a fucking millionaire because you don't think like a millionaire. A millionaire will see what I'm paying or something like, what? That's all? That's it? You just pay $5,000 the way you stay at? And that's it? A millionaire think big. You know why? Because they see numbers as big. They see big numbers and they get excited. Folks, you got to be the type of person that look at $1,200 a month as like a dollar and 20 cents. That's your mindset you got to have if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest having more things. You, know, you got to be the type of person to see, oh my God, I got to pay, I got to pay $7,000 to stay there per month. No, it's $7. You see how you got to trick your, trick your brain out of the program poverty thinking that people taught you. It's a poverty mindset, folks. It's poverty. I know some people that come... I know some people that's around here to stay with me, folks. They pay, they get rent Airbnbs out for three or four nights and pay $12,000. Why? Because they see it as a small number. Because they know the laws that I'm telling you right now. They don't learn it through the years because maybe they was just privileged or something to learn the secret that I'm telling you. But if you're learning the secret right now, you got to start using it right now, folks. Some of y'all don't been around people that done kept y'all in the poverty mindset all y'all life because they broke. Some people know, some, some people, the only thing they know is work, 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 work,
toil, 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 slurry, slave, 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 slave. Some people still in a slave mindset that's taught you how to make money, folk. And what I'm telling you, it's no limit to how much money you can have. Only there which is you feel that you can des you deserve. You feel me? So back to what I'm saying, like, back to what I'm saying. So even though I pay $5,000 a month for where I stay at, guess what? I want a house next year, don't I? That was my next uh, goal for next year. I said, you know what? I don't want a house right now. Not not yet. You know what I mean? I don't even have a wife. Not that I need one. You know what I mean? But um, I don't even I don't, I don't even really need that big of a house like that yet. I mean, I just moved from a big ass crib that had four bedrooms in it. I what I, what I need four bedrooms for? I just want something small and simple. It's just me. Apartment works out well for just me. You feel me? And um, so. One of my friends linked up with me and told me, oh my God, you're paying that amount for the place? Well, guess what you can do? You can do rent reporters where they report how much you're paying for that rent that you're paying. And then that way, when it comes time for you to get a house next year, those people are going to be able to see that you made payments. You paid $60,000 in one year to, to pay for where you were staying at. Oh, they're going to easily give you a loan trend and that's going to make your credit go up. Do you see what I'm saying, folks? Do you see what I'm saying here? That's how you can, folks, listen to what I'm saying. This shit is like wisdom, okay? For those who have ears, let them hear. For those who have eyes, let them see. This is godly wisdom, I'm telling you, folks. You know what I mean? It ain't about what it, it, ain't about what it looks like, folks. It's about what you get out of it once you get it. It's about your energy. It's about you raising your, your mindset, raising your self-value. What do you really deserve? What do you really think that you are worth having, folks? You feel me? If you feel like you deserve this, then you can have this. And you can't believe this, though. You can't believe that. You can't say, okay, I can't afford this. I can't do that. I can't get an 800 credit score. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't. You can't keep saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. You got to say, I am, I can, I will. You feel me? Look, now, fast forward, folks. End of the video. Listen, so... The guy that the leasing God that I ran into, the universe provided me with the right God that will let me be here. He, I seen him. I seen him that day. He was happy. I seen he had a Bible in his hand. I was like, man, he, he's a spiritual person. So you know, I was like, man, let me talk to him then. And I was in good vibrations that day when I tried to come in here and try to get approved. I was in good vibrations. He was in good vibrations, and we kind of like, we just like got along instantly because we was both spiritual people. But you see. Walking on water, faith, folks. Walking with in faith. You feel me? Just I didn't even have the money in my account to be able to stay where I stay at. Now I had no money in my account to be able to afford this shit. You feel me? But the guy was so nice. He felt my energy. I felt his energy. We both were spiritual. We talked about the Lord from time to time. You know what I mean? And he he found favor in me. He found favor in me. You feel me? And so. And a few days pass, and I'm just like, man, I want to. I hope they call me back and say I can be able to stay here, man. I really do, man. I I ain't did nothing but try. I mean, I ain't did. I ain't do nothing. But just get out there and just try. That's all I did. Is just try. And took my risk. And so, uh, next few days, back. Next few days, I got a call back where he was like, "You good to go? The only thing I need you to do is come in here and sign some papers." And I'm like. What? He's like, yeah. He's like, man, you're a really cool dude, man. You know, I like what you're doing on YouTube and everything. And see, he done probably looked me up on YouTube and I seen the good vibrations I was putting out there in the universe. You see what I'm saying? But see, what I'm saying to you folks is in your situation, it's going to happen for you the same way it happened for me. Just going to be a different scenario. You can have whatever you like, folks. You can have whatever you want. You feel me? It ain't nothing that you can't have in this world if you're a believer in a God. You feel what I'm saying? So next thing you know, I'm moving in. You know what I mean? I'm moving in. I, I went from being a nomad to traveling around the whole United States of America. You, you feel me? Because I was trying to figure out where I really wanted to stay. You know what I mean? Because I, I never been nowhere. I didn't never get to see the United States of America because I was always taught I got to stay here. And I, I don't don't go nowhere, Trin. Stay here. Stay in your city. That's comfortable. Get you a job. That's all I, that's all I see my people do around me. And I'm just like, yo, I don't want to stay here. You feel me? I want to go out and I want to see different shit. I want to see what I see on TV. You understand what I'm saying? And so I was traveling for a long time. 
And then I eventually found a place that resonates with my vibration. And that's why I stay here in Arizona now. You know what I mean? Because it resonates with what I feel. I see the people that I like to see. I see the things that I like to see. Your life ain't no about nobody else, folks. Stop letting people tell you what's best for you. Follow your spirit. Follow your path. Follow your dreams and your goals and your vision. Stop listening to these Decepticons out here telling y'all what's best for you because they like to do it. Fuck them. Let them do what the hell they want to do, and you do what the hell you want to do. And if they judge you for it, you ain't got nothing to do with that. That ain't your problem. You feel me? So that's why, you know what I'm saying? So the doors opened up for me to be able to stay out here. But guess what? I had to pay to play. Oh, it costs $5,000 a month, Trend. No, no, better yet, you're going to have to pay 6000 just to move in. Because <laughs> you got that tax and that, that. We're going to add that up. But still, in my mindset, I was like, okay. I might be in the deficit a little bit once I purchase it, but at least I can get around these most high millionaires that stay here. At least I can be in, be in a vicinity where it's all prosperity and abundance around me. At least when I go outside and I'm walking out there, the barbecue on the grill, it's a millionaire right there. And guess what? We're going to all become friends. And I'm going to have millionaire friends. And I'm going to have six-figure friends that own businesses and have their own practices and that fix people's teeth. And I'm going to get to know them. And they're going to be next door to me. And we're going to all make money together. Can I get an amen? You see? You see what you have to do sometimes to put yourself in a position to where you are around the right people, folks? I'm not losing money. I'm only going to make more money, folks. Matter of fact, I don't met five real estate agents already to stay here. They, they sell mansions. You don't think that if I make them some fried chicken and they be good, they not going to be my friend? Oh. So with that being said, folks, I'm just making this video to inspire y'all that anything is possible, you know, and whatever you want, you can have it if you believe that you can have it, folks. Y'all going to see me on this video, on my channel. I'm, folk, I'm only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better and better and better. You feel me? I'm only getting more and more subscribers from me every single day. Why, Tram? How is that happening? Because I believe that I deserve what I'm worth. You feel me? I want a mansion on a hill. I'm going to get a mansion on a hill. I want a G-Wagon. I am going to get a G-Wagon. That's what I'm going to have for myself. Why do you feel like that, Tram? Why do you feel so entitled to have that? Because I believe that I deserve it. What do you believe? You want a pinto? You can have a pinto. I'm not mad at you for having a pinto. Punch buggy, no punch buggy, no punches. I mean, I'm not, uh, but I want a G, I want a, I want a G wagon Mercedes. Is that okay? Am I going to be a bad person for, for wanting what I want? You can have what you want. What do you want? What do you believe that you deserve? Comment below and leave, leave a comment and let me know what you're going to have this year, man. What you going to want, what you want for yourself, man? Are you going to walk into a, you going to get you a condo penthouse Paying seven thousand dollars a month, or oh, you think you scared? Scared? Oh my God, I ain't gonna be able to pay my daddy. My mom ain't never did that. My daddy, nobody in my family ever paid that man. You gonna be broke all your life, or you gonna be like, yo, I wanna, I wanna have a Bentley. I wanna get a Bentley. Are you? Are the universe showing you like exotic foreign cars, but you feel like I don't deserve it? That's too much, man. They gonna, they gonna rob me, man. You can have anything you want, man. So that's why I get on this video, man. I just want to inspire y'all that it's possible, folks. I went from having no money to being able to afford a place where I stay at now for, for paying $5,000 a month plus. Why? Because I know how to manifest things. And I know that I know that money is just energy, folks. It's simply just energy. If you can keep a positive vibration, you keep a high energy level and a high frequency and surround yourself with the right people, people that's gonna lift you up just like this video did. You're gonna have more and more money coming into you and you ain't even gonna know how, you ain't gonna know how it's coming. Money is gonna find you and find you and help you be able to pay that rent for whatever, how much money you, you can go get any damn place you wanna get. It don't worry about the rent. They, your mama and them taught you how to worry about the rent and bills. That shit ain't real. Once you get in there and you got that good energy and you feel good because you stay here now, folks, your energy level going to go through the damn roof. And next thing you know, so many people going to be wanting to come and give you their money because they're going to be trying to ask you, how did you do it? I'll pay you to tell me how you did it. You got money coming in that way now. You got money coming in that way now. You got money coming in that Why? Because of your, all because of your energy. 
So money is just simply going to line up with your energy and the way you feel if you buy something that everybody considers expensive. And that's all I got for you, man. It's your big bro, Trang G. Hey, look, I got something for, special for y'all, man. Listen, for those of you who really felt this message, all right, look, folks, I got credit repair kit for dummies right now. I went and bought credit repair kit for dummies. I'm studying to get my credit, you know, perfect credit score or whatever so I can get me a G-Wagon. You know what I mean? I already stay around people that's driving them. So what make you think I can't have one if I get my credit right? So I got something very special for you, man. If you really felt this video, you want to raise your credit score. All right. If you want to raise your credit score, folks, you got to have somebody that can help you do that shit. Not me. I'm still learning. But I got a law firm that I'm that I'm I'm in um connection with. All right. I'm signed up with them, too. This law firm, they helped me fix my credit with me. You feel me? So it's like you you paying somebody to do some shit for you that you don't know how to do until you learn it. You understand? Oh, if you, if you want this credit repair book, folks, for dummies, look in the comment section, too. It's going to be a credit repair kit for dummies book. You need to go on Amazon right now and get this book. Order it right now. Fix your credit. Because, folks, once you get your credit right, they'll give you any damn thing you want in this world. Cars, houses, loans, jobs. You get your credit right. See, they taught you wrong. Your people taught you wrong. They taught you, oh, just got the bag. I get the bag, the bag, the bag. I get the bag, the bag. You ain't got no damn credit, but you got all this money. Folks, I make six figures, but I don't got good credit. That's not good, okay? You got to credit is the lifeline. You understand what I'm saying? Credit puts you in a position to where you don't even have to have the money, but you already got what you want. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. So if you want this law firm to help you folks like they helping me build and fix my credit, Look in the link below, and it's going to say uh, Lexington Law Firm or whatever, bro. Go through them. They're the best ever, bro. They're going to help you fix your credit. They're going to tell you what you need to do, and they're going to work with you every single month to help you get your credit to 900. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how life is. It's crazy how life come in, come in just three-digit number that, that say whether or not we're going to give you something or not. If your three-digit number is high, we'll give you a damn uh, Bugatti. We'll give it to you. So... Get this book, folks, and sign up right now. Sign up uh, with that law firm down there. They're going to help you boost your credit, man, if you want to be able to stay in a place like where I stay at, man. Look, I just got lucky, folks. I got lucky staying here. I ain't got good credit yet. The Lord was with me that day. You feel me? But sometimes it ain't going to always be like that, folks. So sometimes you got to go through in order to get to. You feel me? But I'm telling you the right thing to do, which is sign up with that law firm right now, folks. It's simple, easy, pricey money. So you see, you can't look at it as expensive no more. You see, you see what I'm saying? Just help, let them people help you, man. Get your credit up and you can stay in a place like Big Bro too, man, if you ain't got the money right now because your credit is right. You can get it. All right? So with that being said, hey y'all, make sure y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, man. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out some of my other videos right here in the meantime. It's your big bro Trend G. Stay tuned, man. Hit that bell notification. I got some more videos that's coming up in the future that's gonna blow your mind, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.